Hi, this is Nick with ThemeCore.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install Realax for real estate into Bluehost. Last tutorial we showed you how to download the Realax Drupal zip file from ThemeCore.com. Now we're going to show you how to install it. First thing you do is go to your browser. Let's go to Bluehost.com. Okay. If you see anything over $3.95, and you want to save some money, all you have to do is go to slash promo and it would be the promo price which would save you about $36 for a three year term. Then you're going to want to log in once you have that set up. Log in with your Bluehost username and password. First thing you want to do is create a database. And let's call a database Realty123. All right, you might want to write that down. go back. Next thing you want to do is create a user for that database. So let's call this one Paul Smith. No, it's too long. Let's do let's do Tim. Let's do a password. Okay, writing that down. Okay. Next thing you want to do is assign the username to the database. So let's go Tim, and then this one was Realty123. Click Add. Assign all privileges, make changes. All right, go back. Okay, and what I like to do with, with all my work in progress websites is create a subdomain. So what you do is you click on domains, then subdomains. Right here, you can call it what you want. Let's call this one Realty123. And that's where you'll see your website. Return to subdomains. Okay. Next thing you're do, we're going to do is import the zip file that came with themecore.com. What you do is you go to hosting. Then file manager. Now it's going to ask you which subdomain you want to import this into. Then we select realty123. Click OK. And then Bluehost puts these files automatically when you create a subdomain, so we want to clear that up. And then click delete to delete those files. Now what we want to do is upload the Realax zip file or the zip file that came with themecore.com. Upload, choose file, find out where you saved it to, right there. Open, and it should take about few minutes to upload. Right now you see in the bottom left hand corner it is about 2%, 3%, so we'll be right back. And we're back after the successful upload of the zip file into our hosting package. Now what we want to do is configure, well first now we go in here, since this is Bluehost, you have the ability to extract a zip file once you upload it, saving you time post is uploading each of the 3,000 files directly. So you click on zip, click extract, you want to extract into your subdomain. Okay, so now if you refresh, you should see your website installed. Here's your database. 
you will need it to install it into your PHP MyAdmin. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to your Bluehost, click on PHP MyAdmin. Okay. Remember your username for the PHP MyAdmin. Then your password is the same password as your GoDaddy. I'm sorry, your Bluehost. Then you're going to want to select the database you're going to want to import this into, which was Realty123. Now we're going to import that file. So let's get that file that came with the zip file. So let's double click this, double click that, and drag this out here so you can see it. That's your database dump. You're going to want to use that file. Go back in here, import, choose file. Let's go to your desktop. There it is right there. Click open, click go. And now here comes the uploading 1%. And we'll be back shortly. Okay, as you can see, the import was finished. Now all we have to do is configure this new database with the new SQL into our files. So what you do is you go back to your file manager, click on sites, default. You're going to want to edit this file right here, settings.php. Let's, let's go to code editor, edit. Okay, we're going to go down here to about this line right here where it says your info. This is where you're going to put what we wrote down. So the database name was server t9 underscore realty123. The username was server t9 underscore tim. Now in Bluehost, it requires a prefix here, server t9. Other hosting packages like GoDaddy and Network Solutions, I believe, don't use a prefix. All right, so you're going to put your password, which was tus123. Bluehost uses the local localhost, so you don't have to put anything there. Um, GoDaddy has a string you have to put in there when you create your database, and Network Solutions has the IP address that you put in there in order for it to work. So all you gotta do is click Save Changes. All right, now when you go to your website, it was realt123.nextpages2.com. And as you can see, the website has successfully been installed. There we go. We can surf around, take a look at everything. The first thing I recommend doing is signing in and changing the admin username and password. So since this is Drupal, you just go slash user. The default from theme court is always admin, admin, login. You click on edit. And now here you want to change your username. Current password is admin, of course. Change your email address so you can get notifications. Password, password, and then you click save and you're good to go. Thank you for watching this tutorial and thank you for using themecore.com.